Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trader with me, Break It Down. Let's level up our newest companion, Jai Heydari. Oh, she comes leveled up. Well, let's see what she has. This may call for a respec. Uh, so commerce here, that's very fitting for a character. It's what I would have taken. Bring it down, finest hour. Commanding voice. The range of the officer's abilities is increased by plus three. The range of voice and command is increased by plus six. I probably would have taken this on her since I am going to keep her in the back to buff up my range characters. So that's fitting. A willpower here. Nimble. Grants plus 10% bonus to dodge. Would not have taken that. Lasting impression. Solid choice. It's what I would have taken. Willpower. Move, move, move. The officer immediately grants an ally additional movement points equal to fellowship bonus. If the target is under the effect of voice of command, it ignores attacks of opportunity until the end of the officer's turn. I may have taken this just to mix things up, because I don't think either Cassia or my main character has that. Swift movements grants plus two movement points, would not have taken that on her. March. Whenever the officer's ability moves any target, the officer gains movement points equal to half the distance the target moved. If this happens on another character's turn, the officer will gain these movement points on their next turn. She doesn't need all these movement points. She has a high ballistic skill. Unless you're running her with a shotgun. And commerce again, I like that choice. Uh, she got the first upgrade for finest hour. During the extra turn, the target deals plus three damage. Up to the end of combat, the target gains the effect of Voice of Command. Fantastic upgrade for Finest Hour. Lore Imperium is a little odd. Unless for some reason she couldn't take Persuasion or Commerce here. Even Coercion would have been better. Willpower here. Leader's Assault. Whenever the officer makes an attack, they gain plus 5 Fellowship until the end of combat. I do like that. Willpower here. Uh, take aim, I would have taken this on her. The target's next attack will ignore cover and will have double the effective distance. If the target is under the effect of voice of command, this attack will ignore enemy dodge. Additionally, the damage from this attack can't be reduced below 51% for any reason. Characteristic training, ballistic skill. The character gains plus 5 ballistic skill. The character may improve any trained characteristic, even if their archetype or origin does not allow it. Heroism. Whenever a heroic act is used in combat by any character, the officer's next attack will cost 0 AP. That's actually pretty good, because that guarantees you can attack every turn and get another stack of Leader's Assault. In fact, I should probably have that on my main character as well. Or Imperium again. An odd choice. Willpower. So she does not have that much willpower. I think these might be fellowship upgrades, but we can't see them here because it doesn't have the check mark on willpower. Also, doesn't show the WA. So I'm thinking these are supposed to be fellowship upgrades. And it's not showing me which one of these upgrades she got. Oh, maybe she doesn't have the first one. I'm not sure which one she has. Uh, she got upgrade 3. So the target gains plus 21 temporary wounds until the end of combat. She also has Eldari and Drukari weapon proficiency. Do weapon combat. So I think this is an inherent talent that she has, right? Yeah, it's an origin talent. So she does start with that. Uh, she has Iconoclast. 
Imperial World, Humanity's Finest, Gunslinger. While Jai is fighting with weapons in both hands, the attack from the second hand, depending on which hand she attacked with first in the round, does not cost any additional AP. Well, I might end up dual wielding her then. It's not what I wanted to do, but... I'll lean into her talents and go with that, probably. I never play fair. Jai can use either Fellowship or Intelligence for Intelligence-based skills, whichever is higher. Additionally, Jai can re-roll Failed Commerce Test plus one attempt for each test. Bull Trader's Acumen. Rogue Trader's Reputation level grants Jai additional bonuses. Oh, interesting. To the Drusians, it's a bonus to Resistance Tests and to Lore Imperium. Explorators, a percent bonus to armor and to tech use. Caspalica Mission, percent bonus to dodge and parry and to commerce. Fellowship of the Void, percent to critical hit chance and to coercion. Imperial Navy, percent to cover efficiency and persuasion. That's really solid. And then her flagship post abilities, Take It Easy. Cooldown of focus efforts reduced by minus one and instant control. Torpedo control can be used the same turn a torpedo is launched. So we're definitely going to respec her. I'm also going to re-equip her with her Eldari weapons. But I will give her a long last in her secondary weapon set. Just to have a proper ranged option. Alright, so Toxic Needle shoots a small sliver needle coated with viral toxins. Every turn for three turns, the target must pass a toughness test with a minus 15 penalty or suffer toxic damage. This damage cannot be reduced by armor. Well, you know what? We'll do this anyway. She does need to be kitted out with other equipment. She doesn't have Endure. This we'll give to Heinrichs when he comes back. A plus three movement. I might give that to one of my melee characters. This might be worth it on her. She does have decent ballistic skill. I will give her that. Make her a bit of a skill jockey. Let's take of a ring slot, so we'll put that there. Uh, Pair Holster, she does have two pistols equipped. Put that on her. Yeah, I might save these for Heinrichs. I don't remember what he has equipped. Okay, then for her, I was going to go with Grand Strategist. I don't know if there's a cost to respecking right now. I should hold off on doing this until after. But it's only two. It'll be fine. Alright, so choose an ability. I've read all this stuff before. I don't need to read it a second time.
Uh, may as well do combat locust stratagem, right? Get to double all your bonuses in the uh, the zone. Wasn't moved for two rounds. That might be worth it. I'm going to re Spectre anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I choose right now. Yeah, let's do a point of interest. So all combat tactics bonuses are increased by percentage if the area has, was not moved for two rounds. He has a fellowship, so it's worth it for her, I think. And I'm super keen on the dual wielding, but her character seems designed for it. No reason not to lean into it. And it mixes things up a little bit. Which is never a bad thing. Alright, so we do have business back in the atrium. We have a cache to look for. We can go talk to Bladame and Hieronymus for doing uh, Argenta's quest. Is there money to be made? I always have a backup plan. Uh, what did he say? I doubt the first step toward heresy. Deliver your weak minds from thought and direct all aspirations of the soul to the service. Keep your wits about you. The Emperor protects. Oh, we can't talk to him about Dens Bellardo. Is it true that the pirate Dens Bellardo was your uh, parishioner and that he endowed the Drusians with donations? It is. Over the course of his life, that reprobate had burdened his soul with many vile and egregious acts. His confessions were akin to a grand catechism, listing humankind's eminent voices and, enor and enormities. It was all the more painful for him to realize that, of all the heinous acts he had committed, not one had been forgotten by the Emperor. Dens Bellardo was afraid of death, and that which would await him after. He hoped to atone for his misdeeds. Yearned to convince, if not the Emperor, then himself at least, they had been more than a conscious speck of malignant mold his entire life. Yeah. Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. 
and it is true for miscreants above all others. The greater the transgression, more miraculous and wondrous the repentance. The request has been fulfilled. The cultist den in the shadow quarters has been cleared out. A grim smile brightens his features, and he makes a sign of the Aquila. I hope that their suffering was commensurate with their deeds. Death Axe reputation up by 200. I'd like to take a look at what the followers of St. Drusus have to offer me. Alright, so he wants holy gifts. Jory's also worth 300, so we'll send that on over. I'm not going to hit the next here yet, though. So. Not going to try. Alright, let's see if we can't find this cash. Former Lantern. I think that's talking about... Over here. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. But I could be wrong. The turret that would have crowned its colossal dome is now located in the atrium, where it serves as the chapel of St. Drusus. Yeah, there's loot. There's loot over here now. Let us not dawdle. Oh, there it is. Note from the lantern cache. You're on the right... Yeah, you're on the right path, Seeker. Remember the place. Small key, large windows. Dreams and stories. Let's see. Alright, to the Void Dock. But first, let's go talk to the Liege. I always keep my options open. With Giant Toe. It might lead to a fight. Greetings, Your Lordship. I don't mean to hurry you. I do hope that our deal is still in place. The station continues to experience increasingly severe shortages of provisions. Ladeo notices Jai standing behind you. You see his jaw tighten tightening with tension. And what are you doing here? Ladeo Vladeo. You must have thought you were the only one on footfall who knew how to make friends. Jai shrugs and smirks condescendingly. I told you I'd find a better deal. Ignoring Jai, Ladeo pointedly addresses you. I'm sure your lordship had reason for getting mixed up with a small frat like her. Perhaps you were amused by her false promises of quick profit, or some more intimate aspects of such relationships. In any case, that's none of my business. Just remember that, here on Footfall, the truly good deals worthy of your attention can only come from me. Jai has joined my retinue to atone for her misdeeds before the Emperor. Glory to the Exalted One who cares for us all. Jai makes the sign of the Aquila over her chest with an uncharacteristically serious expression. The dame grimaces in vexation. In my experience, people like her to tend... Sorry, her tend to turn a new leaf only when the door of the airlock shuts behind them. And not a moment sooner. A man who introduced himself as a servant of House Chorda has to have a word with me. And then, imagine the odds. Someone blew his brains out. Ladame doesn't look surprised. The Anvers again, I presume. 
Those anarchical degenerates don't care whom they shoot. Be it my servants, yours, or those in the employee of House Chorda. I suspect that this agent wished to negotiate a deal that would have had would have you refrain from hindering Incendia. A Chorda's efforts to strangle us with the threat of hunger and demand our obedience. If so, I don't believe I'll be mourning the man's passing very long. I'm beginning to resent how frequently the people I converse with on this station wind up dead. That is indeed lamentable, but these are the times we live in, and this is footfall. Its denizens don't always look for a reason to spill blood. I did what you could not. I found and neutralized the Anvers Agitator-in-Chief. That is a truly outstanding accomplishment, your lordship. Footfall can now rest easy. At least until the next Mad Hoodlum makes it himself known. I'm surprised I don't get any faction reputation with him for that. Uh, what is happening in the Shadow Quarters? Why is there a quarantine? Oh, that. He grimaces. Who knows? It could be an actual epidemic. Or perhaps the two families that started it all just came down with food poisoning at the time. We're on a space station. The best solution here is to isolate the area and wait for the problem to resolve itself. You're right, Liege. The deaths of the people in the quarantine zone is a necessary price to pay for the station's security. I'm glad we've come to an understanding. But wait until there is no one left alive who can spread the disease. They will meticulously burn the place and fumigate it with a special compound. That should solve the problem. Now let's get down to business. I'm interested in your wares. I right, so he wants heretic trophies, which we don't have. Or Xeno Artifacts. More jewelry. Let's go into the melee weapons here. Looks like uniform kits are worth the same across the board. The Mechanicus creations are probably wanted more by the Fellowship of the Void. Let's go see if we can't track down that money cache. To be made? Now, hopefully I didn't burn the bridge that led me into the quarantine zone. The other guy said he's going to let me in. So maybe just leaving and going back will open the way for me. It's also possible I that we'll get a quest a later that'll take us there. Keep your wits about you. I want to get back to this ship. I'm assuming we'll be thrown right into a conversation. Because Victus had mentioned that people... We have stuff to take care of on the ship. So I'm guessing it'll be one of those throne events. And considering how long those can take, I'll save that for next time. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Actually, let's check in with the Mechanicus real quick, because we have stuff for them. I know I can take care of all this stuff once we get back to the ship. Speaking of, there's Heinrichs. Let us not dawdle. Right, we get the uh, Chirurgeon's Manual. This manual grants the owner a bonus to Medikai. It also grants plus toughness bonus MP after using a Medikit. Don't plan on using that, but can't hurt to have. So Holy Gifts, Heretic Trophies, Ship Components.
that's worth a ton. Uh, armor kit's worth a decent amount. The Mechanicus Creations... Oh, do I have Holy Gifts? Why can't I give that to the uh, other guys? Alright, large medikit. Get 11 of them. Let's find this cache, then I might go back. Well, we can always do it when we get back to the ship. Is there money to be made? So, big windows are over here somewhere, right? There it is. I know from the cache by the dock windows. The answer is close, Seeker. Remember the word realizing. Remember the place. A tunnel in the shadow of a bridge. A bridge in the shadow of the great statue. Nice, back to the I shadow quarters. Have a backup plan. This is where I want to go for the quarantine zone anyway. I'm going to avoid Heinrichs for now because talking to him might force us to the ship. Which is not what I want yet. Keep your wits about you. I always keep my options open. Hi, Lordship. Please don't be angry. We haven't cleared a passage for you yet. Soon, though. Not that many mines left. Always keep your eye on the price. Alright. I don't think the cash will be tied to that, so let's look around. Imagine a... Let's look at that clue again. Alright, so we are waiting for it to resolve itself, so I guess going to the ship and leaving and coming back may open up that part of the uh, Shadow Quarters for us. Yeah, so it looks like we can't access that yet. Let's give us that little disclaimer at the bottom. I might be talking about something down here. Okay, well we can oh, always no come back later, hopefully. Well, in that case, I guess we're done on footfall for now. Next thing to do would be to return to the ship. I always have a backup plan. Form A slash 716B is valid for up to 11 hours from the placement of the stamp. You submitted it after 14 hours and 8 minutes. Your cargo registration request is denied. Is there money to be made? I'm hoping that the respec will let me put Jai back down to level 1. Or 
personal pilot. Because I would like to redo a lot of her talents. But we'll find out next time. I'm going to call it here, and next time we'll speak to Heinrichs, return to our ship, deal with all the events that we have to deal with there, respec Jai, and... I'm assuming we have to leave the system to progress time, and then come back in order to access the quarantine zone. But I won't forget about it. Alright, well I'm going to call it here. That's the plan for next time. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.